Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am going to be going through an Edpuzzle and Canvas tutorial. So in Canvas, we have the ability to integrate with Edpuzzle now. But I'm going to go through the instructions today, and I think it's about time for an EY Edge tutorial. All right, so in this tutorial, again, I'm gonna go through how to assign a video lesson on Canvas from Edpuzzle. So to do this, I've provided the written instructions here, and these written instructions are, are courteous of Lene. Uh, I appreciate it, so thank you for sharing these with us. She found this in an online course and asked us to check it out. So we are checking it out together right now. So these written instructions are provided here. I'm just gonna flash them up on the screen. But these are the exact steps that we're going to follow. I'm going to post them in the description below as well. So we are going to go through this entire process step by step right now in the rest of the video. But you can absolutely go ahead and click on that link below or just view the uh, written instructions if you'd rather read through the uh, steps instead of watching it. All right. Here we go. So you're gonna start off by going to assignment. So I'm inside the course that I want to assign my Edpuzzle video to. And this is assuming that you already have Edpuzzle account and Edpuzzle videos already set up. So you're still gonna to have to do that all in Edpuzzle. We're just pulling those assignments in to Canvas and it's integrated uh, very, very nicely. So again, uh, we open up assignments. We are gonna click on the blue button that's marked plus assignments. So we are creating a new assignment. We're adding it right now. I am going to grab a, an assignment name. I'm just going to go ahead and call it uh, Edge Video Assignment from Ed Puzzle. Okay, so that's my video. That's how it will show up in uh, the gradebook then as well. And then we'll talk about some integration pieces between uh, here, the gradebook here, and Skyward gradebook, which is our SIS. So uh, you can provide a description if you'd like for the video, but anything that you posted on Edpuzzle for the video will also show up. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Uh, you could provide point values for it. So let's say it's just five points. It'll mark if it's done or not and keep track for you. Um, it's an external tool. So right here is the big part where we're gonna have to select things. So it's default is no submission. We're gonna scroll down to external tool. So I click on external tool. I'm going to find Edpuzzle and that's where we are finding the external tool and we're configuring it for this assignment. So I click on Edpuzzle. And if you're not already logged into Edpuzzle, it will prompt you and you can log in with your Google account uh, to get access to your Edpuzzle Pro account. So we clicked on Edpuzzle and it should bring up your content, all of your videos that you've already created in Edpuzzle. So it has done just that for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a video and I'm going to assign it to my course. So I click on the assign button and it's going to pop up with the Edge test course, which mirrors the exact name of the Canvas course as well. Um, now there might be an uh, in-between step so that it, it automatically creates a class that uh, did not pop up on this demo, but it did pop up for me earlier when I tested it out. And that is that it will show up for you to create a class on Edpuzzle if you haven't done so for a linked account in Edpuzzle to Canvas. So if it pops up with that, just enter in your class information and then continue on and it'll pick up right here with your content. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to my class. And it doesn't look like it did anything, but it did in fact link the two together and it grabbed that specific video. So I'm gonna go ahead and press select. And again, doesn't look like anything happened, but right here, this link did show up with edpuzzle.com slash LTI slash assignments. And that's how you know that it did indeed insert the assignment in. And uh, then you can keep going down through. There's another video that provides some detail on how to sync to the uh, student information system Skyward for Eastern York. Uh, if you need that information, please let me know and I would be happy to share that with you. But you are going to assign it to your class. You provide a due date. Due dates are very important. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this upcoming Wednesday. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and save and publish and give it a second. And right here, ed Edge Video Assignment from Edpuzzle. And it's going to link to Edpuzzle. Now, I don't have any students in this course, but students would see it pop up on their course uh, page as an assignment to uh, the course. So last two things I wanted to show you. 
where underneath grades in the gradebook, it does indeed show the Edge video assignment uh, is posted right here. So if I had any students, their names would show up and it is part of their gradebook now. All right, and there we have it. We have the assignment that is posted here, Edge video assignment from Edpuzzle. And uh, that's how you assign a video lesson on Canvas. Uh, via Canvas integration with Edpuzzle. So hopefully this has been helpful. Please feel free to drop me a line, uh, send me an email at jcorbeneasternyork.net or find me on Twitter, give me a follow on there and I'd be happy to connect and help you out. All right, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.